hello everyone today i'm going to show you how you can create a logo for your client or the approach that i make when i whenever i try to create a logo for client so whenever i get a brief from my client i go and find some inspiration from google and i go to the websites like 99 designs and dribble logo pond etc the websites like that and then after that i uh, start sketching the ideas so after getting some inspiration you just have to start sketching the ideas uh, you don't need to worry about the outcome that you are getting in the sketching phase just draw the good ideas and the bad ideas so the benefit of sketching in photoshop one of the benefit of sketching in photoshop is that you can write the text and live preview your text that how it will look with your logo So here I'm using the font called Oswald O S W A L D and it is free font you can easily download it from Google Google fonts and it is highly used in print on demand websites like uh, on t-shirt designs So when sketching in Photoshop you can take help with the smoothing tool you can use the settings I Uh, usually make the second settings around 19 to 20 20% and this works very well so when i sketch the lines it will be a little smoother not jagged or wavy lines so the sketches that i'm creating or the logo that i'm creating for is the grocery store and they sell fruit fresh fruit fresh fruits and fresh vegetables so another benefit of drawing in or sketching in photoshop is that you can always undo something that you don't like so whenever you don't like something you can just press control plus z or command plus z on the mac and whenever you are drawing or sketching on sketchbook you don't have that option you just have to erase it and another one that you can move things around you can select something that you don't like with the lasso tool and just move it around uh, with the control t and you can also uh, scale up or scale down something very easily in photoshop so whenever designing logos there is a very popular quote that is kiss k i w -S, s keep it simple stupid or keep it simple and short so for the logo design we should always make our designs very simple and very easy to remember so the more easier to remember the logo logo the more attractive and more Uh, memorable and uh, more effective it is and more professional it is so you should always make your logos very simple you can test the simplicity by designing your logo and after completing the sketches or the final vectorization step you can uh, you can go to your friend and tell him that if he can remember the logo and after viewing it to your friend you can simply give him sketchbook and pencil and just uh, let him draw if he can draw easily then the logo is successful you have successfully draw the logo and it will be very memorable for other people too so it is always a good idea to uh, get feedback from your friends and family so i usually draw sketches between 10 to 20 and after the completion of the sketches i start after the completion of the sketches i start looking at the sketches and uh, sometimes i make it more polished in adobe photoshop or and sometimes i open up adobe illustrator and start vectorizing them so the final step always be vectorizing the logo it doesn't matter if i polish them in adobe photoshop it always ended up in vectorizing the logo in adobe illustrator so it always it is always a good idea to vectorize your logo in adobe illustrator or any vector software that will make your logo uh, turn your logo, logo into vector so the reason behind vectorizing your logo is that uh, in the future whenever you need to resize your logo even if it needs to be print on airplane or signage or poster or billboard or even if it needs to be print on the, the nib of the pen 
uh, your logo can be scalable very easily so it is always a good idea to vectorize your logo so I will just open up the Adobe Illustrator and make the artboard 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and then I will copy a logo that I will like the most that's this one I will just make a selection with the lasso tool and control C and copy paste it in Adobe Illustrator with control V make it a little bigger and then I will just sketch it with pencil tool brush tool or shapes tools so this is the half circle I can easily make the half circle I will make a rectangle on top of the circle and then just delete the upper part with the pathfinder you can find the pathfinder in windows panel minus front so I will make the make the fill turn in turn it into stroke with shift plus X you can make the fill into stroke I will increase the stroke size and I will subtract the inner part with another shape I will expand the stroke there are two tools that you can use you can also use shape builder tool to subtract it select all of it and then go to shape builder tool the shortcut key is shift plus M and yet yeah, you can easily subtract it with the holding alt key on your keyboard you can subtract the inner part the option key on the Mac and alt key on the windows you can subtract this just click and drag to subtract and then make the corners round with the direct selection tool you can just press A on your keyboard to go to the direct selection tool or press it from here and then just make the corners round drag the circles after that you can just create another circle for the vegetable and then turn it into stroke shift plus X increase the stroke size and then with the brush tool you can create the leaves after that I will create this shape I will just go to the blob brush tool and just increase its size and just draw like that and we have that shape and we can turn the fill into stroke with shift plus X or just press here and increase the stroke size or increase the thickness and then we will draw the leaf for the leaf I will go to the ellipse tool and I will draw an ellipse and then I will go to the anchor point tool and then just click here and here and I will draw a line in the center and then we, we have the, this leaf I will rotate it a little bit and place it here and then I will draw the fork so with few tries I managed to draw the fork now I will select all of it make it a little smaller I will try to align everything with the sketch now so that everything will look perfect according to the sketch that initially created I will create two lines with the brush tool I will just create 
these two curved lines curved lines I will change the fill to stroke Now I will write the text This will be the logo name and I think the font is looking awesome Mediate Pro it is the default font that already is in Illustrator you don't need to install it in if you are using Illustrator and then I will make all the logo expanded now the next part is to give our logo some colors For the selection of the colors of the logo, there is a very popular website colors.co. There are so many popular websites but the uh, website that I use is, is colors.co and then you can choose the colors from go to the tools and then explore palettes. There are so many ready made already palettes there that you can choose from. So these are the most popular popular ones you can just go to the snipping tool if you are using windows go, just type snipping tool in the search box and then just screenshot your favorite screenshot your favorite palette and then just copy it and paste it in Adobe Illustrator so I will just paste my favorite my favorite palette maybe this one I will just copy it from here and then just paste it in Adobe Illustrator with control V and with the eyedropper tool I can just select the color choose the colors easily I will get another color palette from here can also screenshot all the palettes at once and then just try them out one by one in Adobe Illustrator but I will choose this line right now just copy it paste it in Adobe Illustrator with control V and then just try this one I will make a rectangle for the background and then I will right click arrange and send to back I will copy the colors one by one I will see what will look best so these are just the representation of the logo that you can show to your client but are not final files so for the final files you have to there is a different process I will make a separate video for that so for the for the presentation you can show the logo in different colors different sizes and with different fonts and you can also show the mock-up version of uh, that logo I will make another video for how you can prepare the logo for mock-up and in this tutorial we have covered that how we can come up with the ideas with the sketches and we have to find the inspiration from different websites and after that we can come up with new ideas of our round uh, uh, with the sketching and then we will vectorize the logo after that so we have covered a lot in this video I hope you have learned uh, I, ha I hope you have learned from this video and please consider subscribing if you like this tutorial and hit the like button 
एंड कमेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू फ्रॉम मी थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग